We transitioned into Dorpers um, in the early 2000s. I think it was, yeah, the fluctuating wool prices and um, yeah, mum and dad were trying to put three girls through boarding schools. We had the unique opportunity to partner with um, farmers from Namibia where we brought in embryos. Um, they came from the Kalahari Desert where there's a six inch rainfall. So these animals have the ability to thrive um, in harsh conditions, which is what, we've, what we were looking for. The fact that you don't have to shear them, uh, you're getting high, high lambing percentages, you've got the ability to double join dorpers. So for us, we've been on a six month um, joining schedule. So 1st of April, the rams go in and they start, out, start lambing 1st of September. And then we put the um, rams back in with lambs at foot with the ewes at the, uh, the 1st of October. So effectively, I've got ewes that are, you know, having two lambings. And I guess that's the advantage of the different lamb markets. You can sell them as store lambs and get them out the gate at 35 kilos for someone else to finish if the season turns and get the ewes pregnant again. Or if you're having a great season, you can finish them yourself and, and turn them off as a finished article. With the fencing going up around and the season changing, a lot of country in Queensland is suited to running sheep. Um, you know, whether it's merinos, um, meat sheep, or, or goat. We made the transition to organics probably about 10 years ago to an organic regenerative focus, um, looking at our soils, our health, um, and the quality of our, our pastures. So we run our sheep in large mobs and we try and move them frequently um, to, to break the parasite cycle. I think there's definitely a movement for people to make a connection with their farmer, to know who is producing your food, how they're producing it, and um, that transparency. So we formed a relationship with Meter Billies in Brisbane. So I think they were just um, announced as Brisbane's best butcher the other day. Um, so we made the connection with them through social media and um, we're very fortunate to have an abattoir that's 10 kilometres from our farm gate here and um, the ability to turn off the animals at a given weight. So they, they want carcasses around that 24 to 30 kilos. And, um, and yeah, the fact that we're supplying 200 kilometres into a market in Brisbane is something that I like. I see there's a movement into eating quality data. Um, so there's Dexar technology, which is getting rolled out into some abattoirs. Um, which looks at the intramuscular fat. I think there'll be a big movement into that in the coming years to ensure that, you know, the lamb that we are supplying is, um, yeah, has the, the eating quality that consumers want. As a farm, we, we want to leave this place in a better, better state. So we're moving into maintaining root systems in the ground, managing our, our ground cover, sequestering carbon, planting more trees, um, yeah, we're just passionate, I guess, about, about health, whether it's animal health, soil health, human health. Effectively, everything is intertwined and we want to produce, we want to have a place where we can live that's, that's healthy. I'm so grateful to be able to work with my parents. Um, yeah, the fact that we've got a farm to come home with and I think that mum and dad are both very forward-thinking people and, you know, we've made the change from different industries um, to, to sort of to feel happy about the way we're farming, um, you know, with the Dorpers. We love, we love the sheep, we love the land. You know, we put an emphasis on trying to leave the place in a better way than what we found it. You know, tree planting has been important. And, you know, when we've had a season like we have, the bird life, the wildlife, the dragonflies flying around, um, it yeah, you want to be, you want to enjoy what you do and yeah, I'm happy, very happy.